Hi folks, David Waring here again from LearnBonds.com and today we're going to give an intro into corporate bonds, tell you where you can go to find bond prices, and talk a little bit about junk bonds. Bonds issued by a corporation with a maturity of greater than one year are called corporate bonds. There are thousands of corporations that issue bonds and the credit quality of corporate bonds varies much more widely than that of treasuries or municipal bonds. While a default by the U.S. government has never happened, and municipal bond defaults are few and far between, corporations default on their bonds on a re fairly regular basis. Before investing in a corporate bond, you want to make sure you know its credit rating and understand how the bond is structured. Is the bond secured by a specific asset or an unsecured bond where the investors are out of luck in the case of a default? What place in line do investors hold if the corporation defaults on its bonds? Is it senior debt which is paid first, or subordinated debt that is paid only if there is anything left after the senior debt holders are paid? Lastly, you want to understand if the bond has any embedded options, like a call option, which, you, which usually benefits the corporation, or a convertibility option, which can benefit the investor. I've included links below this video with educational materials on each of these factors. All brokers must report their corporate and agency bond trades to FINRA within 15 minutes of the trade or face potential regulatory action. TRACE, which stands for Trade Reporting and Compliance Engine, is their system for collecting and distributing market data. In addition, they have tables which show the number of bonds rising and declining in value at the end of the day. I've also included a link to TRACE below this video. Junk bonds are corporate bonds whose rating is lower than BAA3 for Moody's or triple B- for Standard & Poor's and Fitch, the three major credit rating agencies. They are also referred to as high yield bonds because of the higher interest rate investors require to compensate for the increased risk involved with junk bonds. In any given year, as many as 15% of all junk bonds default. Believe it or not, the debt of most corporations is considered junk. According to a recent paper from the Milken Institute, the debt of 95% of U.S. companies with revenues over $35 million and 100% of companies with revenues less than that is rated non-investment grade or junk. If you're interested, we have a great series on how to buy junk bonds, which is written by Learn Bonds contributor The Mask Investor. I've included a link to this as well as our other corporate and junk bond investment ideas below this video. That's our lesson for today. Please feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comments section below. For more great bond news and education, also be sure to visit us at LearnBonds.com, on Twitter at LearnBonds, and on Facebook at Facebook.com forward slash LearnBonds page. Thanks for watching.